honestly, when I surf here and I catch a wave, I don't think that I'm in a pool in the middle of Waco, Texas. Mm -hmm. I'm on a wave surfing yeah, regardless of, of what it is. And, you know, technology has, you know, given all of us the ability to surf, you know, anywhere on planet Earth now. Yeah. Once you get on that wave, you're not thinking you're in a yeah, pool, right? Sure. You're on a wave getting barreled. Sure. It's like you're at Uluwatu, whatever. I think it's also the people you're around as well. Yeah, yeah, the camaraderie, like the, the, the group you bring to the pool as well. Yes. You know, the people you come with, the, 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 you know, you always got to surround your, yourself with good people. Today. He was uh, stepping it up to the next level. They both were. after you've fallen, fallen down and you watch him go, get up super easy and then he, and then he pops up and he's spinning around. And in my mind, I'm trying to, I'm literally trying to figure out how to do the spin. Like, I'm wondering how I could even do that spin. I've got to go down, I've got to, and I don't even have a clue how he does it. Um, it's really magical watching an expert do what, what they do on the water. You know why I'm nervous about all that, Paul? Because I know it's going to be my turn one day to be at their sport and jump on that bike or get on one of those cars and it's not going to be. <laughs> Today, it was, it was easy for me. It doesn't matter what I did in this pool. Like, I could have done a move I've never done before. And it wouldn't make me as happy as watching you two guys come out of the barrel with your hands up. Yeah! Like, that's what makes me feel good. You went on the left. I think you made one in and out. I got right? one and I, st I stayed in it even though it was like falling on my head. I was yeah. still able to stand up. It was awesome. That's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy about surfing That's because nice. I know that surfing can bring the world together. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! After he rode that, the, the, the blackboard, the monster board for the first time, yeah. he's like, oh, this is so much better. Today is my best wave ever. Yeah, yeah, I made big progress, but uh, you know, I was a little shy at the beginning. Like, it's a, there's a legend for me, you know, uh, to share to share this, this wave together and a uh, really, really good time. And uh, yeah, still, uh, still can't believe I'm, I'm really here, you know. All of us want to, we all want to see each other win, right? We all, all want to see each other progress and do better. And, and that's how it is out there, you know? Even if you fall, you get round and it's like still, yeah. You know, back round again, keep going. You got it. I think when with water, the, the the magical thing about being in water is the the way it's moving, right? And then just letting the body go with it.
most awesome feelings when you do get it. When you finally do get one, it's sick. That was so good! <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see this one was so good. You had the barrel weight compared to the other one. What was the different challenge? <laughs> the barrel one easier. <laughs> It felt so much longer as well when I was it doing did, it. It looked yeah. longer when you watched it. Well, surfing's, surfing's my favourite sport. It really is my favourite sport. I love the ocean and I love the water and the power and the movement, um, particularly of the ocean. And going out there, it feels like you're disconnected from all the negative things that are going around in the world, right? And all the negative airwaves. And out there, you're, it's just pure.
Engineers have changed the face of the world. They dare to dream big, turning the impossible into possible. As engineers, we are pioneering sustainable aerospace. A quest to the world's first zero emission aircraft. We are exploring new ways of working. We are continuously improving while pushing the limits backwards to bring the best in class aircraft forward. We are building the future of flying and inspiring next generation of aircraft. We are designing the aircraft of tomorrow and future flying experience. Step by step, we go further together to change the lives of others. And as the world takes to the skies again, we restore trust in air travel to fly people safely while safeguarding our future skies. We are helping the economy recover while restoring global trade we commit to our customers and our aviation partners with passion, curiosity, resilience, innovations. In all what we do, no matter what we dream, together we can do it. Our pioneering spirit will continue to define us. We are the engineers of the future. Italian cuisine has so much history and culture. So then when you come in a place like America, Los Angeles, now you're into the melting pot. We started making it our own way, the simpler way, because we don't use that much garlic, we don't use that much onion. You have to taste the meat. The tomato sauce has to be tomato sauce, no so much black pepper, so much oregano, so much garlic. Simplicity really is the key. I went to cooking school in Italy. Then I went to work at the age of 14. If you ask the chef, how do you make this dish? The chef will just give you a look and for the next few weeks, you'll be washing mussels and clams and peeling garlic because you don't ask. The chef is uh, 60 years old and he's like, who's this little kid? And when I came in Los Angeles, here, if you want to grow, you need to teach others and maybe they'll move on, they'll do other things, but they will always think of you. I couldn't have asked for another better place than growing up in Sicily, surrounded by a large family. And I love being always around food because usually around food there is good time, there is friendship, and that kind of stayed with me. This is sauce that we make here. Mama will make it here, just like the days. And the kids, they can smell it. As my father was saying, you know, in our home, if you bring 50 or 100 friends, you don't have to go and, uh, to the su supermarket to shop. There will be food for 100 or more. I thought that everywhere else in the world was kind of like that. I left Sicily and I left my mom and dad there and I arrived in Los Angeles surrounded by two brothers 
They had a restaurant. I was always around them. And they gave me the chance, little by little, to throw me in the water, say, no, you can do this. I was a sponge. I mean, you learn a lot more by listening than talking. A restaurant is an extension of your family. We have employees, co-workers, I wouldn't call them employee, that they've been working with us for more than 25 years. That brings a lot of joy. You have a lot of pressure on it because you take the responsibility of these kids. You know, you raise them up, they run your kitchen. Being in this country, I was able to inherit that culture that they were able to teach me and let me do, and I'm passing on this to others. I love to motivate anyone when they want something, go get it, you can. That confidence is beautiful. You really need to have the passion, you know, to get up and do it. Bethesda is like the spiritual home of free thinkers. It's a sort of vast landscape that's almost biblical in magnitude. The harshness of it makes you a much more thoughtful and spiritual person. It's almost an oasis for people who are innovative in their thinking. Because to survive on such a land means you have to be stronger. You have to look for answers in non-traditional ways. This seems to be a place that is a magnet for people who want to express themselves and makes it a visually interesting place to be as a photographer. To my friends in America, if they wanted to find an area uh, that was quirky, warm, creative, and in the middle of a fantastic land, I would say come to New Bethesda, because that's where they would find it all together in one small, wonderful place. April 27th, 1822. Ulysses S. Grant, the Civil War general who later served as president, is born in Point Pleasant, Ohio. Grant led Union forces during the war's final years, receiving the Confederate surrender at Appomattox. 1521. 
Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan is killed in the Philippines, but Magellan's crew continues and ultimately completes the first circumnavigation of the globe. 1805. In North Africa, an attack during the first Barbary War that inspires the lyrics of a U.S. Marine Corps hymn. A force of Marines and mercenaries capture the city of Derna on the shores of Tripoli, now part of Libya. And 1947. In New York, ailing baseball star Babe Ruth is honored at Yankee Stadium on Babe Ruth Day. There's been so many lovely things said about me, and I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to thank everybody. Thank you. But Ruth's health continues to decline, and baseball's Sultan of Swat dies the following year. Today in History, April 27th, Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. in our studio and in today's news 